So there are several algorithms used um, in the process of building and developing and running a chatbot. Um, so the first thing you need to do is if, you're, uh, if your chatbot is voice enabled, you need to understand natural language uh, speech and convert that to text. So the speech recognition is the first step in the, in the process. The second thing, the second stage in the process is then taking that um, and applying natural language processing, which is a separate set of algorithms that is designed, you know, firstly to interpret the intent, uh, i.e. the reason why the, the customer is contacting. And then secondly, to extract useful pieces of information from the conversation, often called entities. So these could be things like names, postcodes, addresses, you know, anything that's useful to driving the conversation forward and to, and to achieving the outcome. Um, also within that, you might have uh, specific taxonomies that relate either to your industry. So there might be certain language that's used if you're an insurer or a travel company or something like that. Um, so the third step in the process is then dialogue management, and this is where you create the, the conversation and, and guide the customer towards the outcome. So this is, this is where you design the questions that you're going to ask and the responses that you give back to a certain question. Often machine learning is used here, um, where you can use a set of training data, so you can give some sample questions, for example. The machine learning algorithms can then use that as a basis to understand the many, many hundreds or thousands of different ways that somebody could ask a question without you having to pre-program every single one of those steps. And then the last step in the process is to take that information and, and again, if, you're, if you've got a voice based chatbot, feed the information back to the caller through synthetic speech or through text to speech. And again, increasingly, we see machine learning used here to create much more natural, uh, much more natural sounding voices to play back to a customer that pick up on different ways of, you know, of intonation, different ways of expressing voice, etc., different ways of finishing the sentence off to make it sound as natural as possible. So that's just an example of some of the algorithms used in a, in a typical voice or chatbot. So when you give a chatbot a query, it needs to understand and have confidence that it understands that query. Um, and chatbots use algorithms to do this. Uh, to do this, um, and there are different types of algorithm with different strengths. Um, so, for example, uh, chatbots that need to deal with a wide range of query have to be good at classifying text and words into specific categories, so they can narrow down the possible range of responses. Uh, a popular algorithm would be something like Naive Bayes, and that's also good at determining how confident the chatbot is in its prediction. Um, there are other algorithms that are good at identifying the subject of a query or neural networks, for example, that are good at uh, processing text. Um, natural language processing is absolutely key for chatbots because it determines how the bot uh, understands and interprets words, but it also aims to learn, um, you know, the intricacies of human language, including, you know, grammar, sentiment, intent and so on. So I, I guess when you implement a chatbot, you need to be very clear on its purpose. Um, and that way you can choose one that uses the most, uh, most suitable type of algorithm.